My name is Nolan Davis, and this is The Perfect Gentleman. Today, we're gonna to paint the picture of the perfect day as we explore the artistic treasures of one of the premier art galleries in the country. And I'm also gonna show you how to put on the ultimate private dining experience in one of Houston's top-rated restaurants. All of this on this episode of The Perfect Gentleman. With the overwhelming notion that chivalry is dead, Nolan Davis and his team of experts have embarked on a mission. They will unveil the mysteries along the path to a man becoming the best version of himself. They will guide you through everything from tying a bow tie to taking you to the best and most intimate date locations. Welcome to The Perfect Gentleman. Now before we start our date, we must look fashionable because presentation is everything. So we're going to start our date here at M2M Style Lounge. Here, we're gonna get the right look for the right date. Follow me inside. So today, we're going on a date at an art gallery, and then we're going to experience a fine dining experience at a gourmet restaurant right here in Houston. So what I want is, I want them to be fashionable but comfortable at the same time. Do you have any ideas, Victor? Oh, definitely. We have everything covered from something casual, something that will translate from dinner to uh, any event for that matter. Okay, so if you can do this, if you can give me two different looks so my guys out there can have some options to figure out a, and grasp a look and feel that they might be interested in. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. All right, let's go. Okay, Victor. Now, I see the one option that, that you put together. Explain that to me. The first option is a more casual look. It is very denim friendly, and most of the time, guys think that denim is something you wear during the day running errands, but if you pick the right pair, you can take it to dinner or you can take it to any event. And I do like the jeans that you put on them. Yeah, Who were those jeans by? Uh, by Diesel. Okay. Um, it's a dark wash, which, again, it's, it's one of those pairs that you can wear with a blazer, with a jacket, nice pair of shoes and you can wear it pretty much everywhere. Now I looked at the jacket and the jacket is not really a blazer but it still dresses up the whole look. It's the color, it's a dark okay. gray, uh, it has some casual detail but it, uh, again it's a jacket and if you can take it off you can use the ja uh, shirt that he's wearing underneath, it's a nice crisp white shirt. Okay, so it kind of dressed him in layers so if it gets a little warm he can take it off, it's just, if it's chilly later on and it's versatile to where the look looks great either way. Either way, there's no thinking about it, he can go with jacket, without a jacket, roll up the sleeves, and he still looks great. Okay. Now, as far as option two, explain option two to me. It's a much dressier uh, option. Uh, it is a suit and a jacket, both black. The pants are more fitted. It has a flat front. The leg in the pant is a little bit slimmer than your regular uh, suit pant. And the jacket, it's a very well-constructed jacket with slimmer um, arms, and it does have a few darts in the back that creates a, very, a more fitted illusion. Uh, the fabric on it, it has a soft sheen to it, okay. so it, you know that it's not the jacket you're wearing to work. It's the jacket you're taking to dinner, the jacket you're taking to an event like a gallery. Right, but it still, it still fits as it has like a, a more casual look to where it's not super dressy, but it's still relaxed, so it looks like it's still very comfortable. It, yeah, comfort is one of the things that most guys are wanting to have. Uh, you still want to look great, but you want to be comfortable. You don't want to walk around, constricted. Sure. It, it's, you want to have fun. So now what we're doing is we're going to go to the art gallery, go to the fine dining restaurant, and just have a great time. Thanks, Victor. Thank you. We're here at Grimion & Company Fine Art, one of the premier art galleries in Houston, and I'm with the vice president, Brian Fries. Brian? How are you today? Great, Nolan. All right. 
now to the gallery. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you all have been in the art culture in Houston, a big part of the art culture here in Houston for over 30 years. Tell me about Grimion and tell me the story about this magnificent gallery you all have here. Absolutely. Uh, Ron Grimion founded our gallery 30 years ago. He, was, uh, he got an art degree at the University of Dallas and then shortly after that started work as an illustrator. But one day he was sitting in his illustration room and a little voice told him, look around, you don't want to be here for the rest of your life. So he thought about it, wasn't sure what he wanted to do and decided to take a break and went to Europe for a month. And during that month he came across Conweiler's memoirs and Conweiler was Picasso's dealer, and really the most important dealer of the 20th century. And to paraphrase it, he said he read the moral, only moral justif justification to be an art dealer is to uh, sell art to provide for the artist. And when Ron read that, he decided that's what I wanted, he wanted to do for the rest of his life. That's great, that's great. Now, I always felt that an art gallery is a great dating place for a couple of different reasons. One is because it's kind of, it kind of gives you a museum type of feel, and you can walk around and you can see anything, but if you see anything you must have, you can purchase it. Absolutely, we actually deliver it. Okay, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Now, that's just my opinion. Why do you think an art gallery is a great uh, day place? You know, I think art in general, I think if you're gonna be a well-rounded person, you should know about art, and you should experience art, and I think being around art, each piece is unique. It gives a couple a uh, chance to talk and communicate on a level that they would not be able to communicate in any other environment. I mean, this horse, for instance, I mean, you can't really imagine something like this. Uh, and you walk into the gallery and you see it and it offers an a, you know, ability to have an uh, intimate conversation and get to know each other on another level. Now, to make a date a little bit more eventful, tell me about some of your art openings that you all have here. Sure, you know, I think an art opening is a great date idea. We do them about every six weeks. Uh, we have a collection of the artists uh, work up and then we'll have valet parking and security. Uh, a lot of people come for an hour or two, have a glass of wine, look at the art, meet the artist, and then go to dinner afterwards. Okay, and that sounds like a, a, a great evening out. Now before we start looking at some art, I need to know, is there like an unspoken etiquette? Uh, you know, most people are used to a museum setting where if thousands of people came through every day and touched the art, it would damage it, even a bronze. Sure. But always ask. It's, it, there's not a lot of pieces that you can't touch. And other than that, just no screaming. No screaming? No screaming. Okay, we'll keep it down. Okay. So you're a nice guy until we're about to start touching the art and then the... Well, you know, we have our rules. Okay, I totally understand. <laughs> well, let's go look at some art. Okay, great. All right. With three gallery spaces, a beautiful sculpture garden, and thousands of exquisite works of art, Grémion makes a wonderful date location with hours of enjoyment and a very intimate atmosphere. They provide personal guides to showcase their masterpieces and to educate visitors on artistic style and their artists' backgrounds. If you're looking for a more eventful outing, you may attend an art exhibit featuring one of their many experienced artists. For the more passionate art enthusiast, Grémion will bring pieces of interest to your home and coordinate it to suit perfectly with your home decor and the rest of your collection. Grémion can also host your next private event. This will also give you the opportunity to surround your next soiree with elegance and class. So Brian, we talked about some smaller sculptures upstairs in one of the galleries. Mm -hmm. And we've seen the beautiful sculpture garden that you guys have. But you gave me some insight on this sculpture and this artist. Tell me a little bit about this artist. Yeah, this is one of the, my favorite artists that we represent. This is Ruben Nakian. He did an apprenticeship with Paul Manship that did the golden figure outside of Rockefeller Center. Okay. And uh, Nakian, as a young man, uh, uh, Manship saw his sketchbook and decided that he wanted him to come to apprentice with him. So he did, and Manship taught Nakian classic sculpture. And then, I guess it was about 1916, 1920, Ruby Nakian got a grant from Miss Whitney uh, before the Whitney Museum was established. It was a R Whitney print club, but he got a grant from Miss Whitney to go out on his own and create his own studio. This piece uh, was done from about 1960 on. He did pieces that were based on Greek mythology, and this is Nymph and Dolphins. Okay. Uh, but Nakian was one of the first uh, 
uh, American sculpture, sculptors to successfully abstract in 1947 with the Duchamp head. Um, he's in the Hirshhorn collection, the Metropolitan collection. Uh, the University of Houston here has a large piece on campus. And just to show how much you actually have, this is just in the entrance of yes. the building. Yes. This is before you even get to the, the big sculptures in the garden. This is just in the entrance. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Brian. Oh, you're welcome.